guys, welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy, and I'm so glad you're here today. If this is your first time, hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I really appreciate you guys, and I'm happy to see you again. So uh, keep in mind, this is a general reading a session for the collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer private sessions. All that information will be down in my description box and my contact information will be somewhere on the screen. I call in our higher selves of all manifestations to bring through the most healing and empowering messages for the collective. We've got one card. I'm going to be shuffling, uh, flipping them over, and then we'll go into the reading. I'm going to get five cards. What is going on? And we're going to take this one, this one, the top, and the bottom. Okay. All right. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I'm trying not to. All right. We're going to get one from the Halloween Oracle. And my, my chair is squeaking. So, sorry about that. Okay, let's get one of these for the collective. The Halloween Oracle. One card. One. Oop. I got two. But I'm going to take them. I'm going to get one from the Spirit Animal Oracle. Just going to shuffle these up a bit. I guess you guys want to see that, huh? Okay. Once more. Okay. One card, please. Oh, I got two. Okay, I'm going to take them. I'm going to take those. Uh, two seem to be a thing. Okay. So twos may be numbers for alignment for you. So. Okay, let's see what we got here. But first, we're going to do the oracle. There's four. We have werewolf. Exploring wildness. Ooh. We have skull of flowers. Creating through the ashes. I absolutely adore this card. Very powerful energy there. A dolphin spirit. This and that are true. This is a very lighthearted card. Every time I get this card, I just feel a lot of joy coming through. Uh, I don't know if you guys can feel that, but I certainly can. Spirit horse. Oh, spirit horse. Seahorse. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Seahorse. Spirit. Watch and wait. You know, the card's like, um, it's a mystery. Life's a mystery. That, that card, it's got a whale on it. This one, watch and wait. These can be frustrating cards. I feel the frustration coming through. So, all right. Let's see what we got here for... The tarot. This is a page of pentacles. We have the lovers. Um, the tower. The ace of cups. I don't read reversals, so unless I'm I'm directed to and I rarely am and then we have oh we have the four of wands you guys this is beautiful energy yeah I'm loving this I'm just connecting to um, the energy here all right what I'm feeling here is uh, this is about love uh, this could be the person you're with yourself or a new person. Everyone's in a very different place. Uh, whatever this is, there was definitely a tower moment. Many of you have been going through some really difficult times. And um, it's a time for self-reflection. You know, whenever we have a major foundation fall, uh, we often have to look at ourselves as well as others and uh, take inventory here. Um, there is a strong energy of 
needing stability here. You need feeling like you need someone who's stable, someone who could support you when it when it comes to love. This also could be, you know, feeling uh, you need stability in your finances or your career as well. But I'm feeling the, this mainly is love. For you, they both may be connected um, in some way. So uh, the lover's card is um, in this deck many times often about self-reflection as well as um, a deep connection with another and um, with the with the uh, ace of cups here I, I definitely feel a love vibe um, this also could be you healing uh, issues of self that have been brought about by this this really painful tower and uh, seeing the possibility in it gaining the wisdom and uh, learning how to love yourself no matter how you cut that, no matter how that resonates, there's a four of wands here. So there's happiness and joy coming, reasons to celebrate coming. Uh, if this is union, this is going to be a very happy happening, okay? Uh, I do feel with the skull of flowers uh, creating from the ashes, I feel like many people are getting like um, a blank slate. Uh, they're getting a chance to... Uh, I don't want to say start over, but have a whole new perspective on love, okay? I do feel for people who are in relationships that this card is indicating that many of you will begin to have past life memories of each other. And uh, it may come in the form of dreams, will be dreams that you cannot shake, okay? Uh, the reason why I feel that past lives have no value unless you can bring them forward and glean something from them. Otherwise, they're useless, okay? Um, so I'm feeling, and that's my opinion, but um, I'm feeling like the past life energy that's coming forward, and this could be with people around you, begin to remember their connections with you. I feel like it's a moment of awakening within you, them, and the connection, whether whether that be friend, uh, lover, uh, family, whatever, because this tower was extremely emotional. I feel like it, for many of you, it brought you to the edge of emotionally what you could bear. Um, and for many of you, I want to tell you from your guides, I'm feeling they're coming through that, um, I, I'm feeling that many of you had a, a level like a block removed, like this tower caused such a, um, I'm feeling the energy of it. It was like an energetic pop. Some of you guys may have felt it. It may have been in your body, you know, of some way. I'm, I'm not really sure how to explain this. You may have felt it within your solar plexus and your um, heart chakra. There is energy here about um, self-image, self-reflection, how others see you, uh, seeing how you reflect in this tower as it falls um, and seeing that some images of yourself fall within the mirror of the tower, okay? And um, yeah, this uh, page energy is very strong. Um, this is a dedicated partner. This is someone who is going to support you. They're going to help you get stable. They're going to bring stability to your emotional state. This is an emotional healing through a partner, okay? There's a lot of wish fulfillment with this Ace of Cups. Now, the Dolphin Spirit is speaking of um, aligning with the light. So, Seeing the wisdom, that's what I'm gleaning as light here, enlightenment, gleaning the wisdom from the tower, okay? Gleaning the wisdom from watching your reflection fall and uh, seeing some truths in yourself, um, some needs to some need to maybe adjust. Uh, there's healing of personality, self-image. There's healing of connections with creativity and your ability to manifest money, manifest opportunity, manifest people. It's a really, you know, when spirit heals, they heal on many levels at one time. Um, we don't have to say, oh, they're healing my career and finance now, but they're not healing love. No, it all heals at the same time because you are a complex being with many, many layers. And those layers inter interwine, um, they intertwine. I'm feeling that energy right now. I'm feeling the energy with this person. I feel like this person is going to feel like a piece of you, okay? Um, and I don't want to use the, you know, the twin flame, the twin flame. I, I There's something else that we can call this. It is not a narcissistic kind of love, okay? This is not, I'm, I'm hearing literally, this is not child's play. Like this is grown up, real 
passionate love. I'm feeling a lot of passion coming through with the werewolf card, okay? So I'm feeling a lot of primal sexual chemistry. How will you know this is your person? You will find them irresistible, okay? Uh, I'm feeling that. Do you guys feel that? A lot of irresistible energy coming forward for the collective. So it's as if, I feel like we went through one level of that irresistibility and we're getting like another wave of it. It What it is, it's a kind of golden energy of um, awareness of self and, um, a gratitude for being alive in the vessel, you know, beginning to really connect with your body, with this werewolf card. Uh, there's a real need here to heal um, your self-image issues that may have risen from the tower moment. And you may have had several mirrored towers that fall. I'm seeing like a column of mirrored towers fall. So for many of you, this is many either lifetimes of happenings or happenings in your life. You've had many mirrored towers. Mirrored towers are extremely uh, powerful. I wanted to cuss there. They're really powerful. Um, these are very special towers that um, many of us engineer before we come through and we allow for, um, you know, the uh, flow of time to also work with these mirrored towers to bring them in at just the right moment where we can receive our awareness and begin a new level of awakening. For some of you, I'm seeing seven towers. They respond to the seven chakras. All right. Um, so we have the seahorse here and I'm feeling an energy that you're not probably going to like, but it's an energy of you're going to have to watch and wait. You're going to have to trust your journey. Uh, work on yourself. If this person isn't here with you in, in this um, time right now, they're coming, okay? And so it's a time for you to really heal up your issues. Many of you are with someone you're healing together, okay? And for many of you, it may be surprising that your partner is actually healing you. They may not even be aware of it, and, and they don't have to be. We function on multiple levels, multiple dimensional levels at one time. Okay, so uh, because all time is now, time is an illusion, all right? Um, but we still work in that paradigm. So there is a need here to be patient, and I feel your energy. I feel your frustration, wanting to move forward, wanting to get the show on the road. But they're really the guides. Uh, your higher self's manifestations are really working very diligently to bring in something that's going to be very stable, it's going to help you grow creatively. It's going to make you feel alive. There are going to be moments where you're going to be able to trust the flow of the light and the dark energy in your life. Um, and it really is learning that our primal energy can be used to create a completely new kind of transformation. Okay, so... All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. If you're going to sleep, good night. I hope you sleep well, sweet dreams, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.